Oh, what a chance spurned there by O'Leary. One on one with the keeper almost, and he turned almost too fast, and the ball goes harmlessly out over the end line, and agonizingly from a killer one point of view, it went trickled over the line and gone wide. So the score remains 110 for killer one, 110 for Calix Swan. Almost four, just over 14 minutes gone in the second half as the puck out drops into the 65. Up goes Kieran Reid, but he doesn't get the ball. But the man who does get it, it now is uh, Paul Diffie. Paul Diffie has it. He drops it in, but it doesn't go very far. And the man who has it, Dwayne Fogarty, the man who got the goal a few minutes ago, he puts it in and he puts it over the bar. And Carrick Swan hit the front. <laughs> Carrick Swan hit the front for the first time in this game. As we're just about a quarter of an hour to go, 14, 14 and a half minutes gone in the second half. It's 111, 110 for the Swan men. As Jerk Corcoran pucks it out, gets it in, tied there, and the hands go up for a day. Mark O'Leary misses it. Being tackled there by Aaron Fahad. Breaks to Seamus Hennessy. Hennessy being tackled by Martin Russell. Players going up, putting their hands up, but it's very difficult to hold on to the ball. The man who has it now, and I think coming away is Kevin Lanigan there. I can't wait to see him, but I think it's him anyway, as he gets a good clear inside of there. It doesn't go very far, it goes straight to Jim McCall. Jim McCall for killer one, driving and firing right back down again to oh, this, he's full forward. Full forward leaving it after players bring up their hand. The man who has it now, how oh, is his number twelve, Shane Quinlan, fix it inside as the ball knocked away from him there. Jerry Welch coming out. Has his pop knocked down there by the substitute Brian O'Mara. Out comes to the keeper. Keeper flicks it out there and it gets it out to John Welch. John Welch there, the man on the yellow helmet takes a heavy challenge, wins the ball and Gets up and puts, clinches his fist to, as if to say, you're not going to get, you're not going to get in and any closer than what you've got uh, so far. So it still remains 111 to 110. Goalkeeper Colin O'Sullivan coming out to take this free. And almost 16 minutes gone in the second half. His puck goes. Well, players putting up their hands. Seamus says he can't reach it, but the man who does reach it and gets and down there is Kieran Reid. Kieran Reid gets it. He goes off of. Uh, it goes off the stick there of a killer one man and it's going to be a line ball for Carrick Swan just inside just inside the killer one 45 meter line and to take this one is Kieran Reid Kieran who got a fantastic point from the far side there just a few moments ago to bring the size level tries his hand at this line ball on this side of the field here he comes now Strikes it beautifully. Oh, a lovely in swing ball there, dropping and pulled on. First time, and ooh, it hits the post. Oh, well, if they had a, a scare at the far end, the killer one goal has been leading a charmed life now as the ball has struck the post and it's gone out. Gone out over the end line and wide. So, here misses on both sides there. It's still Jerk Harkin, Jerk Harkin, who's poking out for killer one, way over to that far side there. Between neither with John Gray as well. Doesn't pick it up at the first attempt, but Macron, um, um, Brian O'Mara has it, has his puck half locked down, gets it at the second attempt, being crowded out by a wall of black shots there now. The one who does it, John, John Grace there, gets it ahead there, throws Hansi. Hansi coming back in here, going one way to go the other way, gets it across, throws Alan O'Sullivan. Alan O'Sullivan fires it over his head as he sees a white man at the twinkle of his eye, throws O'Halloran, gets it back out, out there, where it's now in the possession there, a chance here for Fogarty. Fogarty on his. Beautiful strike, great save by the goalkeeper. Oh, a splendid save by the goalkeeper. The ball going, eventually going over the bar. Lovely piece of work there, and Fogarty pops it over there. So it's now Harry Swan 112, Killer 1, McDonough's 110. 47 and a half minutes gone in the game, 12, 13 and a half minutes, about 12 and a half minutes to go. Meanwhile, uh, there's an injury to a an injury to a Carrick Swan player. And players taking a drop of the magic bottle there, and I'm sure they're very glad as the place seems to be swinging from end to end in a hitter and titter finals. Both sides very anxious to get their hands on this Seamus O'Reen Cup in its first year of competition. It was Stephen Hansi, in fact, who was uh, injured that time, but everything seems, I think, to be okay now. And the ref and the young piracy. And the referees and the young piracy seems to be calling the referee there. I don't know what is. The game has, the game has ended for us, it was the second half, really, the second half, so far, it's been the, 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 the game, it's 
Yeah. 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 And there's a temporary, there's going to be a temporary substitution on the Killer One team. Um, Kevin Ryan looks as though. Kevin, Kevin Ryan replaces Tiamri Cahill for, as a temporary sub. As uh, Jerk Harkin prepares to puck out and does so now. Right down, dropping over between, uh, between Mark O'Leary and Martin Russell. Neither of them get it. The man who does get it is Stephen Hassey being forced backwards. O'Leary is with Pat Williams now, being surrounded by 1 2. Blackshaw still gets out the ball there towards. Kevin, uh, Kevin Quinlan, who drops it in towards his full forward. Good work there. I lock me. I lock me round his sweet man. Right, knock me uh, Looking on the dangers. And he does. A lovely piece of work by McLaughlin. He puts it over the bar, getting round. Uh, uh, Jamie Sweetman there. He put it over the bar. So we're back to just one point game again. It's one goal and 12 points for Calix 1, 111 for Killer 1 McDonald's. As the puck out from Colm O'Sullivan. Over to that far side there between J.P. Rice, Brian pulled on there and by Kevin Quinn and towards Brian O'Malley. Stopped by John Grace for Calix One. Dropping in towards O'Hanlon there. There are not too much. Neither of them get it. The ball going after it now is Danny O'Hanlon. Also there for there is uh, Paul Diffie. Paul Diffie gets it right out across here when it comes towards Alan O'Sullivan. Alan O'Sullivan shakes off two men. Going right through. He seemed to have been fouled there. Well, he might have been better off to let him off, but he... So otherwise, anyway, the referee has given a free in and a chance for Daniel Hannon to push two points back between the sides again as we go into the last 10 minutes of this tense, exciting clash. Daniel Hannon has to do some drapery work before he takes this free. Now, as Daniel Hannon prepares to take this free, a relatively easy free if there is such a thing as one. And he pops it over the bar to push uh, two points between the sides again. So now, Carrick Swan lead by 112 to, uh, 113 to 111. I think that should be, yes, it's 113 to 111 now. Just two points between the sides as Jer Corcoran getting ready to puck out. Keeping it over to that far side there. And, uh, Dropping it out, but hands go up for the Owen Hogan tried to pick it up, and John Grace knocks it ahead there for. Uh, and uh, Bobby Ryan looks as though he's going back in. I think Jerry Welsh may have got injured there. Anyway, there's going to be a line ball for Killer One right down under us here now, just outside their own 65 meter line. And when things get back to normal, uh, Seamus Hennessy will take this line ball. Yes, everything seems to be okay. I think uh, everything seems to be okay again. As Seamus Hennessy gets ready and, and doesn't get it very far, this and goes off of Matt and Russell's stick there and straight into the hand of Kevin. Well, it was going to be and a good piece of work, oh, great piece of clearance there by the by Alan O'Sullivan. And Hennessy has it now for Killer One, being tackled there by two players, Kieran Reed and Matt. And, and uh, Reed has it now, and Reed is fouled there, and it's going to be a free, a free for. Carrick Swan just outside their own 65 meter line. And I'm sure if Daniel Hannon, Daniel Hannon looks as though he's going to be coming out to take this one, it's going to be a long ways out. And the referee is just taking the. And, and chance, and he's flashed uh, the book at him now, nothing too serious at all. So everything is okay. It's this game being played in a very, very sporting manner. Honest endeavour from every player on the pitch. So, Danny O'Hanlon prepares to take this free now, about 30 yards in from, 25 to 30 yards in from touch, and uh, just beyond uh, the halfway line, it'll be a mighty point if he gets it. He rises, he strikes it, it hasn't got the distance, it might be better off. Oh, great catch here! Oh, and a great catch there by Alan O'Sullivan, wasn't able to deliver the, the when he pulled the trigger, though, the gun jammed, and the ball is cleared out. Not got out very far, it comes to the full forward there, Shane P. Ryan, picks his spot and picks his... Oh! From a Carrick Swan point of view, an opportunity spawned there, the ball going the wrong side of the post, so the score remains. 113 to 111. We have got about uh, six, seven minutes or so left in this game. Can the Swan hold on? Can, can Killer One, who led for so long in this game, meanwhile, there's uh, substitution as uh, uh, Bobby Ryan is on full time now. I think it looks as though he's going to be on. And we'll just check in a moment who's gone off the team. But as, meanwhile, the puck out of the team. The ball goes out over the touchline on that far side. And it's going to be a line ball for Carrick Swan. Alan P. Ryan has gone off and Bobby Ryan has replaced him. 
So, Orion for Orion, as the line ball is for 